Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. It's True Crime Queen. Today we're gonna to be talking about two viral news stories that I found over the last couple of weeks. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get into it. One man is dead after a house explosion, just as police were attempting to execute a search warrant. This is a look at the scene in Arlington, Virginia, not far from Washington, D.C. At around 4.45 p.m. on Monday, December 4th, 2023, officers with the Arlington County Police Department responded to North Burlington Street on a report of possible shots fired. Investigators say the suspect discharged a flare-type gun about 30 to 40 times from inside his duplex and the surrounding neighborhood. Police say no property damage or injuries were reported related to the discharge of the flare gun. Police identify the suspect, this man, 56-year-old, James Yu. Assistant Fire Chief Jason Jenkins said authorities turned off gas service to the home and evacuated nearby residents, including people who lived in the other part of the duplex, about 90 minutes before the explosion. The fire department personnel absolutely saved lives. In anticipation of what could happen, and unfortunately what did happen, the fire department personnel evacuated neighboring residents. So again, I state the evacuation of the neighbors saved lives. Officers began to quote, deploy non-flammable, less lethal chemical munitions to multiple areas within the residence where the suspect was believed to be hiding. Now, police say the purpose of this type of deployment is to cause irritation and to get the suspect to surrender, but that was unsuccessful, according to Arlington County Police. After obtaining a search warrant for the house on North Burlington Street, officers, quote, attempted to make contact with the suspect over the phone and through loudspeakers, according to a police statement. Police say they didn't get a response from you, and when they were attempting to execute the search warrant, quote, the suspect discharged several rounds from what is believed to be a firearm inside the home. The explosion happened at around 8.25 p.m., police say. The investigation into the circumstances of the explosion is ongoing. By 10.40 p.m., Arlington County firefighters had control of the fire and were battling small spot fires according to NBC4. Dave Sundberg, the assistant director in charge of the FBI's Washington field office, says you also, quote, previously communicated with the FBI via phone calls, online tips, and letters over a number of years. Sundberg says, quote, I would characterize these communications as primarily complaints about alleged frauds he believed were perpetuated against him. The nature of those communications did not lead to the FBI opening any investigations. WTOP reports, you filed four federal lawsuits between 2018 and 2022, each was dismissed and some were described by judges as, quote, convoluted or confused. Three officers reported injuries, but there were no transports to the hospital related to the house explosion. The FBI Washington Field Office, the Arlington County Police Department, and other federal and local agencies continue to investigate this incident. A man whose $59 million wedding in Paris went viral in November 2023 is now facing a possible life sentence after being accused of shooting at three police officers. This is according to the Dallas Morning News. 29-year-old Jacob Legrone was indicted in March 2023 on three counts of aggravated assault on a public servant, a first-degree felony in the state of Texas. City officials in Westworth Village, Texas, say the charges stem from an incident back on March 14th in which officers responded to multiple disturbance calls about a gun being discharged at a home. When three officers from Westworth Village in Westover Hills, Texas, arrived at the scene, quote, they were fired upon by Legrone, according to city officials. This is all according to a report from the Washington Post. An indictment obtained by the Washington Post says that Legrone, quote, did intentionally and knowingly threaten imminent bodily injury to the officers and, quote, did use or exhibit a deadly weapon during the commission of the assault, namely a firearm, end quote. The indictment does not say where the incident took place and no other details were given regarding the disturbance calls that led to the police response or the shots allegedly fired at officers. Legrone was in court on Thursday, November 30th for a motion hearing related to the charges just days after his wedding went viral on TikTok. When he was approached at the courthouse by a cameraman with the news station WFAA, Legrone did not comment on the indictment. A bodyguard accompanying him slammed the door shut as he was taking the newlywed behind closed doors. Legrone's new wife, Madeleine Brockway, 
was not in attendance, according to the Dallas Morning News. NBC News reports Legrone and Brockway had a lavish wedding on November 18th, which included a five-day celebration in Paris, France, complete with an overnight stay at the Palace of Versailles, a rehearsal dinner at the Paris Opera House, and even a performance by the band Maroon 5. NBC posted a wedding registry that appears to belong to the couple, featuring 119 designer products, including a $12,500 crystal butterfly house, a 5,600 vintage vase, and a $2,950 antique silver tea set. Brockway is the daughter of Robert Brockway, the chairman and CEO of car dealership Bill Ussery Motors. The company was started in South Florida by Bob Brockway's grandfather, according to NBC News. Now, if convicted, Legrone could face a possible sentence of less than five years up to life in prison, according to state law. He was offered a plea bargain deal of 25 years in prison by the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office in August, according to court documents. That's all I have for today, guys. I love you for watching. Bye now.